Good morning. Good morning. Okay, guys. Um, the cover is ready to go um, to do whatever we're going to do on the inside. Um, but first, I always like, because I grabbed my second set, um, this is a little bit what I have left for the fur for my first set. And now, the first thing I like to do is I grab my second set and I chose all the papers where there was something to cut out. So I grab all of these and I'm going to cut these all out. And these are the ones that does not have anything to cut out. See, those are not, well, this can be, but, but I think only for the steampunk Christmas, but that is... I don't think it's necessary. Um, so that is, I already cut uh, these out, but you already saw me doing that. And this is the one where um, where you have two sides of uh, beautiful images. And for my second cut out, I'm just gonna cut this full out. And I still have these edges. So that is what I'm gonna cut cut out first and all of these and then I put them in the trash in a, in a, in a, yeah, in the bin so that is the first thing that I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cut it all out put it away and then we're gonna start with the pages okay let's do it these are absolutely amazing easy to cut out with a one inch corner punch and as you can see, I made those little circles a little bit bigger. But that's more easy to cut out, these. But it's perfect. Easy to go. Easy, easy peasy. And I'm just going to put these in the trash. In the bin. Is this a trash? I have no idea. So easy to choose from. When they all... Yay! And then, yeah, it's just a matter of cutting out, cutting out everything, and it's so much easier if everything is cut out first. Wow, I love this fox. Lady fox. Love it. This little mouse is so cute, so cute. God, I love these images. Can't say it enough. <laughs> I just can't say it enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. I know you don't want to see me cutting all this. So, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to cut out those one ones. Very easy. So, just... Cut all things out. So cute. Look at all these that I cut out. So this is how I did not smooth everything, but this is how I like to work. And then I'm just gonna put these pockets and envelopes on it and ready to use. And then I'm just gonna go with these and these we can cut with our cutting machine. Okay. Okay, and then I have a big pile of beautiful cards. How easy are these 
to make your Christmas cards with. That is so freaking easy going. And so lovely. Oh yes. Okay. Ready to be used. And then these little strips. I am not throwing them away, of course not. I did not make them for any purpose. So we are going to use these. So don't throw these away. Okay. Yes, okay. So that is all what I cut out. These are my cutting out from my earlier... Um, earlier cuttings and now we are going to start with the pages and let me just show you a little bit what I have now have left for the papers and I like to mix and match that a little bit See, a little busy, a little easy going. This I definitely gonna use for strips, absolutely. And then the leftovers from my um, from my first set. This is a very easy background. That's the back, the back of the cover. So that's a very easy going. This is a little bit what I have. This is a nice green one. It's beautiful with this. So this is a little bit what I do. So just mix and match them a little bit. There's also a nice green one. It's marvelous with this one. This fits beautiful. Well, everything fits beautiful and easy going. But just to show you a little bit how I like to work. So this is my leftover pieces and that is where I'm going to start with. Absolutely. So I'm not going to go on the other four, four sets. Nope. Just start with what you have. But let us first focus in on what size of the papers that we're going to do inside. Okay. Let's see. Okay guys, the tunnels. What are we gonna need? And I'm gonna do this together with you of course, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you in a second the, the measurements, well you can already zoom in, but um, I like to cut my first one, 6 one fourth by 7 3 fourth. And then my next one, I'm going to cut this the long way, is 6 1 fourth. And then my second cut is 8 3 fourth. And I can score on both sides a half inch. And then we got two hinges that we can fold down, leftovers you're always going to keep, this is also a leftover, so just fold it down, I like to use tape, as close as I can get to the fold line. Rip. Okay, then you grab your 614 by 734. Put that on your left as nice and even as you can get. Then you're going to measure to this side and just see if the corners are nice and straight. And if that's the case, just hold it down. Put your fingers here so you can easily grab this off and put it down. And then we only have to go on this side, peel it off, and place it down. 
And there you have your tunnel. If there is any evenness, just cut it down, guys. Don't be that picky. If there is something that you don't like, just cut it down. It, it will be minimum that you cut it down. So, but that's, that's my tunnel. All right, so I'm gonna give you the measurements. So, your first page, cut 614 by 734. Okay, your next page, is cut 614 by 834 and then score both sides half inch and that's it then you have your page tunnel and it fits perfect in our album so i have a little up and above um, up and below um, a little space and i still have space here to make the hinges so we still can make a nice double hinge where the pages can be lay as flat as possible all right so that and we're going to make four for now i'm not completely convinced if i make four or five pages but for now i am going to make four tunnels so that is the first thing i am going to do so i have already two um two ready so i'm just going to make two more so one more time I am going to cut this one this direction 614 by 734 and then my next page I'm going to cut the long way if you also have an A4 piece 614 by 834 Put all these leftovers away. Still can need them. And then we score half inch, half inch. Not over the fold line, just close enough. And there you go. Another tunnel is ready to go. Okay, fourth one we can do alone? Yes, we can. Okay guys, let's just start with page one. And I am sitting here with my hands across my body and just thinking, what will I do? What will I do? What will I do? Then I think, well, maybe a nice eye catcher in the front of the first page. Just looked on my, in my um, pile of nice, nice ones. And I really like this one. So I am just going to use this one. Um, I have no idea how we're going to start, but follow along and everything will be all right. Fingers crossed. Okay, first I'm going to work on this piece. Um, so I'm just going to grab a leftover piece like this and I'm going to glue it down. Just randomly glue it on somewhere with edges definitely with edges with edges okay so that was not that difficult was it nope okay now um i saw that i did had some small ones already left Let's just, is there is a difference between one of these? 
there is these ones are slightly bigger than this one these, this is the one from the one with the white edge around but at the end actually does not matter which one you're gonna use this is also but since I already cut these I'm just gonna use with these all right so what's the meaning let's cut this nicely same okay we can do it right away too where is the mark good heaven I think it's here. Fingers crossed it is. Okay, that fits nicely. I need to get back in my little vibe here, guys. So be patient with me. It's been a while, holiday, and then we did the, the letter box for a few weeks. Well, I did that a few weeks, but let's get back in track with the pages. Small black edge I'm gonna leave in between, just a small one. Just a small one. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to try to find the middle. So if you see here a butterfly, then a butterfly, a flower, guys, it's a flower. So I'm just going to try, try, why this is. We'll have a new one. And I'm just going to place the same size. So I have the same measurement. simple no measuring whatsoever there we go look how cool this looks Okay, and now we're just going to cut it out. You can use uh, your cutter, you can use your scissor, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, I know first is always a little difficult. So I am just going to trust my scissors for that. And then I know once you have your first one, you just can all put this right along. And just cut it out. I know, yeah, that's a little bit how I do it, but <laughs> I think everybody has his own method to 
cut out things. This can even be a little shorter, just a tiny little bit. Yes, I like it. Okay, that was step one. Oh my god, I love it. It's so cool. Okay, then we are going to make an extra page because I want to have this halfway down so this flips open to the left. So let's just make an extra page. So we are going to put this the same size. And we are going to make a score line one inch. So we can have some space right here to make, make this page underneath a little bit wider but I don't know exactly how much we need so this it's fitting on here but I only want it halfway down so yeah you can measure because this was a 614 so let's cut this a 3h that will do a 3 inch there we go So there is going to be an extra fold line once I know what we're going to do on this page and then this will come nicely on top here and the meaning is that I have this equally nicely in the middle and then the meaning is that I'm going to make this um, as a closure. But as, as you can see, we do have space right here, guys. So we can do that. We can do that. So that's perfect. So what if, what if I put this right here and then you can slide this to here and then yep, we have space. That's nice. Okay, that's the basic the base. That's kind of the first idea what I want. Okay, I'll put this away because I also want to have here a page that goes to the other way. And for that, I think we also can wait just a sec. Yeah, we can do a half, one, one inch, but let's just make a mark, guys. Just make a mark at the end. Then we, then we don't need to cut things down, we just can fold this on that mark so leave it on just leave it on you always can decide how thick you want to have something okay so this is the plan this goes on this side and I should have cut this a tiny bit smaller so yep sorry about that but let's just cut this 1 8 shorter okay Cutting things off, it's always better than gluing things on, of course. Alright, so now if I put this on this edge, then I have a nice space left. 1 8, yeah, it's a little bit bigger than a 1 8, but that, that's fine. We want to have space because this one goes on here. Okay, that's, that's nice. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so we have. One opens here, and then this is the closure that goes opens like that. Okay, so now we can do loads of things on here. And you can decide what you want. A nice pocket, or photo frames, or whatever you want. But I'm addicted to pockets. <laughs> you know that. So I'm definitely going to make a nice big pocket on the inside here. Okay, um, we can do that if we stay in between. So um, let's grab a new page. Let's see. 
just grab a leftover piece guys we do have plenty of leftover pieces also have these ones this fits also nice for pockets goes lower oh, it's a nice size so just use it so let's just make first a half inch hinge and then a bottom hinge and then we can decide how big this pocket needs to be just fold one side and of course we're going to stay in between guys we're going to stay in between a 1 8 here and a 1 8 here so we are going to stay away from the fold lines of the pages okay you also can do this later but i like to do it right now and then we're going to cut this off and then we have our nice pocket put tape on right away and then I can cut these corners right away and then my tape is perfect Burnish it down so your pocket is nice with all the edges. There we go. So this one goes at the bottom. So that's only just one pocket. So for this one, we can, but let me first think that what I want to do on here. Okay, definitely want to have something cute on here so what about two pockets a nice sideway pockets something that is cool so and let me go right here and i'm sorry that i did not that i do not glue everything down just yet because it's safe for me because i don't know how thick things are going to be and i don't want to make a page too thick but at the end it never will be too thick <laughs> oh, because I just like to go on and go on and on <laughs> I know I'm sorry <laughs> okay so what's next I'm gonna split this in half that's my mark and then, do we have some leftover piece, papers? Yeah, I think we can. I think we can use some leftover pieces. So, let's make a hinge here and here. Let's fold one along. Place that. Well, you also can do it the other way. You can also place this at the top and then see where your mark is and make a mark. That's also a possibility. There we go. Now I fold the bottom. And let's place this one two millimeter away from the fold line, guys. Stay away. That's just the case for everything. Stay away from all the fold lines. And make a mark completely at the end. And cut it down. Here we go. Put some tape on.
And there you go. Okay, that's one piece. This fits nice. Okay, now, before I'm going to do the other one, because it's easier if this is gluing down already. Now, what I like to do, because I saw with my cutouts, I saw this one. And I also can use this one, but this one is too small. But this one we can use very nice as a template. Oh yes, you know I like that. <laughs> okay, so place this down, not too deep, but let's say half of it. Okay, so I'm just eyeballing this and here that it's equal. And then I'm just going to redraw this gentle. That's why I love to use a white pencil. Good to be seen. There you go. Now you can cut this out, but it will be even better if you put some design paper on here first. So I like to go first in my leftover pile, which one I like to use. Oh, this would be cool. I think I'm going to use this one. This could also do it, but I go for this. Okay. Okay. So, just cut this one. I don't like to have this, so I'm gonna cut this straight. Okay. this equal guys meaning I want to have this equal yeah that's just a thing of mine okay cutting this this I don't know if I can cut this easily yep it does Okay, so now I have this equal. Yes, left and right. Nice, cool. Let's fold this in half and cut it down. So we have two same ones. Here we go. So two pieces, one for the other and one for the other. Okay, sounds good. That goes. Place this on the back. This needs to be equal at the bottom. And of course we have a left and right. Just use a clamp. Put this on. Okay, and then we can cut this down. At the same time. There we go. And then you have, you can erase your pencil mark. Switch the edges a little bit. Oh, that was a big truck. Sorry guys, I do have my window open a little. So it's still hot here. Okay, and then this fits marvelous. See that? Nice. 
nice. That fits perfect. I like it. Okay, you can save this for whenever you want to use it again. Just place these together and then you don't lose them. Okay, so that is one. And we're going to place this. We'll first start at the bottom. At the end. So I'll just keep this straight. And then what I like to do is use um, some tape. It makes it so much easier to put your tags inside. And this one is from the Action, a very cheap one. It's just a sensitive masking tape. This is from Tisa. It's exactly the same. The sensitive masking tape is called. Um, you also have them in different colors or different brands. I really like to use these. But the trick is, of course, burnish this down so it's nice attached. Okay, and now we can just pull out, pull off this tape and place it down. And there you have your two, your one pocket. So now we can make the other one. So grab the next piece of paper. Um, check, check, check your leftover pile. Okay, now let's do it again. Make. Fold line sideways, fold line bottom. Fill sideways. Fold it down. Okay, place this with your fold line straight to this pocket and then just make a mark. It can be that easy. Yes, it can be that easy. It can be that easy. It can be. And then I'm just going to fold the bottom. Place this right along the other one. And just cut it. Make a mark, of course. And cut it shorter. And we're going to make exactly the same cut out as we did with the other one. Yay, yay, yay. God, I love to do it. I really missed it. I like holidays. I really like holidays. But oh, when I'm back and it needs a short day to get back in my <laughs> vibes, then God, I miss it. Yeah. And there you go. Okay. Halfway, so you have the same one as the other one. You also can use your one that you already cut out. to remeasure if you have the same height for example just use this one place it down and then you will see if you have exactly the same and I do so that's nice and yep this one you already have so place it down on the back this is the same and then you have the left and the right to make that a little even with the edges, I mean. And then you cut it out. Yes. yes. You can do it. Okay, guys. Um, then this looks like this. Oh, amazing. Love it. And I want to 
right away going to decorate this. Um, and I am thinking. Okay, so we definitely can short this down. So we can use this strip, I guess. So let's. Yeah, definitely. So we can cut this one off to use it as a little strip. I'm just gonna cut a little on the left side of this golden line right here. And I'm gonna try to cut that on this side too. But since this cutter has no holding it down, so it's easier for me to put my ruler on. This is not easy at all. I think I'm just gonna use my my scissor or or I can cut this first short and then use it and then cut it down. That's also. But you also can use your just your scissors. Yeah, 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 yes. By the way, did I mention um I promised you guys that I would tell a little bit about my holiday. I think this is the time to start our first, um, our first, I call that booking, the first holiday address that we visit was in Germany. And um, we tried out and it's a formula that um, that here in Holland is, I think, pretty familiar with other people. I don't know, but it's called Enjoy Hotels. And um, so it's an all-in formula. And normally they have five days that you can stay each time. And with, with everything in it, breakfast, uh, lunch, evening um, dinner um, there is some entertainment with it so yep we just tried it out and <laughs> so we did that in germany and 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 we just picked uh, a place out that that's for us was the far the most far hotel farthest yeah far away hotel of our um home <laughs> so we went to the to Hars it's 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 a, a um, oh my gosh I call it oh my god I'm so terrible um, it's yeah same thing as we call here in in Holland the Veluwe that it's an area a bigger area but I don't know exactly the, the, the place um, what it called where the hotel was but at least it was in close to Hars. <laughs> uh, Hars is an area guys so oh anyway so we went to that one and um, it was a very nice hotel very old but god I love that so it's very um, it has some um, yeah, we call that coziness because it's old. Yes, I do like it. I really like an old hotel better than the modern cold colors things hotels. Not that they are worse, absolutely not. But I do like 
a very old one um, where you go on the stairs and, 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 and you hear noises and everywhere. I really like it. Yep, that I like. <laughs> Even if you're laying in bed, it, 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 all the creaky and, and I like it. The wooden bats, I really like it. The older the better. <laughs> okay, so um, so we tried it out, guys, and I must say I was pretty um, surprised how good it was. And um, because yeah, we we did not do it. Um, earlier and, and we heard about people using those hotels more often and well we're just thinking well it's five days and because I had no idea how how good I would come after my surgery and everything but so yeah um so we only booked this 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 one but everything went amazing um we went to Goslar that's that's a very nice um, little village with so much um, beautiful houses and buildings and churches and everything so yeah we did some geocaching in in Goslar and um, some walking around and had some drinks and we had some some lunch in there in that cute village Town, cute town, it's absolutely stunning. I really like it. Um, Goslar. It's very um, tourist, very much touristic village. But God, I love it. I love it. I love this too. Look how cool it is. In the meantime, that's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do my pocket also. Where is my pocket? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna do my pocket also a little bit. Let's see. Okay, guys. Um, so I made my um, my pocket, and I, this is still a leftover piece, by the way. But I cut first a half inch uh, for the top, and then the leftover I put it downwards, and I because there's a gap, I use this. Um, this red lace and then I just put that cute little line on here so cute I really like it then this is done also but I put two little booklets in here because then we know a little bit we can de decorate this there because then I know already a little and I put that all the way down because I don't want um, if I put it here, then you don't see the background, and that's what I love. And also, if you put it on top here, then you can't go, then you can't put anything on here, where, and I do, to pull it out. And I really like to keep it hidden inside, so I can make a little, um, a little pull out with this ribbon, or this one. Okay, but, 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 now let's see, this fits here, and then our pocket goes right here, and as you can see, if you put these onto each other, what kind of thickness do you want? See, let me put this this direction, so this is a little bit how you calculate how thick you need to be, because here is also going to put something inside, and you're going to put some papers on these these booklets so a 1 8 is mm, a 1 4 is too much so I like to do a in between yes <laughs> so we're gonna make another fold line with this one so like I said so I'll just put this right along this line right here that's why I have those lines on if I have a 1 8 that's too tight I don't like it a one fourth is too much so what I like to do is I'm gonna move my fold line to the top of the the, the in-between um, I call this 
and so you have a fold line here and you have a fold line here but I'm gonna put my fold line from here on top not on a fold line but on top okay I hope that makes sense guys so I'm just gonna make that on top and now I am gonna score at the 1 8 behind my black line here so I have a in-between see guys I have an in-between it's not a 1 8 it's not a 3 4 uh, a 1 4 it's a in-between <laughs> yep I can't make it any easier than that or difficult I don't know but that's how I like to make I really like this size the in-between size <laughs> <laughs> okay guys fold it down make it nice there we go and now I can add tape on here and I also can cut it down by the way if you like it does not need to be this large if you want you can cut it down Here we go. And now we have our hinge. We're going to attach this on the page and this gusset. The in between size. Not a 1 8, not a 1 4. The in between size. Okay, put that on. Why did I peel that off, by the way? Mm -mm -mm. I like to have it just a little bit so I can wiggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Alright, so I can wiggle in this corner. So I can place that down on the space I want. Then I'm going to push it down. Then I like to take this off push it down yes okay now we added our page inside you also can do that earlier but then you have to decide in front how thick this you want to be and if I did not do anything on this page then it would not even need it that you put up maybe one eight for the pocket for here so that's that's just Sometimes it's step by step by step to do it correctly. And then I still even make mistakes, of course. Now we have that in between size here. Now we can decide because this is going to be first. And now this going to be right here. Also on, on, on the bottom of this page. So we also need to have some depthness. Now if we do the in-between size and it's the same size that is okay if you do not do anything on this page but just decorating but if you also want to do some activity like a pocket or then you still have to wait and then decide to make an in-between or maybe we do want to make a one-fourth it's just about the thickness okay so let's us first decide what we're going to do here but remember we want to do our closure on here for this one okay so keep in mind that this will needs to be on here so we're not gonna glue down anything all right if that makes sense then stay tuned okay guys what I had in mind is to use this little pocket somewhere on this page and to use this but you can use the back of course and just glue it down but what if you like to add little notes maybe you'll love to do that so how cool would it be just place this down with a boat And 
to cut it out with the black edges all the way around. Just like that. And then what you have is little notes. You can even use the back, but you also can write something down here, write something down here, totally fine. So I really like this idea. Very cool. You also can glue down the first one, and then have a little hidden spot at the back. But I'm just gonna keep this so you have to. Alright, and then I hope this still fits in this little pocket. Should have, should have, yeah, 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 yeah. You can do a nice back one so you don't see this. It can be done. Alright, so that was my little idea for this one. 